why Kanye West stopped bothering Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. There's been a highly publicized conflict that has lasted for many weeks between Kanye West and his ex-wife Kim Kardashian and Kim Kardashian's current boyfriend Pete Davidson, both of whom have been involved in it. On the one hand, the rapper has punished the mother of his four children for letting them use the video sharing app TikTok. On the other hand, he has created a diss track slash music video in which he imagines violence against the SNL star, who's now appearing on the program. For his part, Davidson, who is considerably more reserved and restrained, took a completely different approach, publicly criticizing the rapper on Instagram for bringing their troubles to the public's attention and calling for his resignation, as seen through recent leaked text messages. According to sources, West has seemingly chosen to stop the social media fight that had erupted between the two celebrities for the time being. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at why Kanye West stopped bothering Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's get started with our video. The new connection will not be monitored by Kanye West, according to sources. This follows a series of online rants aimed at his ex-wife Kim Kardashian and comedian Pete Davidson. According to reliable sources, despite widespread condemnation for his online attacks on Kim and Pete, the 44-year-old rapper has decided to repair their connection with the couple. Kim and Pete are reportedly pleased with the decision. In response to the game's conclusion, the Grammy winner unleashed his first series of social media comments against the comedian, in which he referred to him as skeet over the weekend. The father of four, according to reports, has reportedly increased his attacks in recent months. He's also received negative notice for controversial music videos in which he's seen disparaging Kim's new husband. The American rapper has chosen to live in isolation and get professional counseling to safeguard his children. In an interview with Page Six, he said that his decision to quit Instagram was prompted by his ban from the site for harassing and using racial remarks towards celebrities such as Trevor Noah. February 2021, Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West, and she officially became a single woman in March of the same year. After a difficult start in his relationship with Julia Fox, the rapper quickly spiraled into a social media storm. He leveled charges against Kim Kardashian in her relationship with Pete Davidson. His participation in the Grammy Awards has been suspended due to Kanye West's antics, and he performed at the event on his own. The artist has changed his mind about the method he intends to use in his next piece of work. It has been reported that Kim Kardashian has received assurances from a source close to musician Kanye West that the rapper would no longer stalk the reality TV star and her boyfriend Pete Davidson. He will stop using cyberbullying techniques against the couple. Yo, Pete, what's your favorite thing about Kim, bro? As part of the communication, he also notified his ex-wife that he was going to get therapy. When Kanye West added an alleged racist statement against The Daily Show host Trevor Noah in an Instagram post on March 16, 2022, the rapper was banned from using the social media platform the next day. This on the other hand was tied to Kim's family. Kanye West yelled the insult in response to Trevor Noah's appearance on The Daily Show on Tuesday when he discussed Kanye's internet obsession with and abuse of his ex-wife Kim Kardashian and her fiancé Pete Davidson. If you're joking around about it and think I'm an idiot for caring, that's fine. Noah said. On the other hand, I'd prefer to be the one who made a fool of myself than the other way around. Pete's claymation counterpart was savagely snatched and buried alive in a pit in a video made by Kanye featured on his album Easy, which was also directed by Kanye. In the video, Pete's claymation counterpart is kidnapped and buried alive in a hole after being taken. Despite her desire to remain anonymous, Kim had no choice but to go on the record in favor of Pete Davidson and persuade Kanye to withdraw his presidential candidacy. Kim's Instagram account has been the target of a significant amount of criticism in recent weeks, specifically directed at his children. Even though Kim said that she has been allowing Kanye to see his children, she did not detail how she came to this conclusion on the matter. Almost every indicator suggests that the crisis is nearing its conclusion, which is wonderful news for everyone concerned. He's making repairs and making a conscious decision to improve himself due to the process. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how you thought of this one. I really hope that you find this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.